I have a Mark 7 1.6 TDI DSG and I'm having shift problems. As soon as I want to shift into third gear, it starts slipping and goes into safety mode. It only works at the second and fourth gear. Diagnostic tool says it's a P283200 fault code, shift fork A, position circuit range performance, but can't find something or anyone that has had the same problem. What does this code mean? Okay, so this is not a US model, um, but shouldn't really matter in this particular case. Uh, you have a DSG problem and that circuit range performance on the uh, that shift fork is for the uh, one three shift fork. I presume it's going to be going into limp mode. It's hard for me to know exactly what's going on. Diagnostic on DSG stuff is always going to be tough. You would have to really do some digging to even get a better idea of what's going on. It could be something going on with the mechatronics unit, which is not allowing it to shift properly. It could be something with the shift fork itself is bound up or whatever sensor uh determines the location of that what default kind of represents at least in my mind is transmission control module doesn't know where that shifter is or where the fork is in its range of travel it's supposed to be able to know where it is and because of that it's just going into limp mode so either it's stuck or the sensor that allocates to tell the transmission control module where it is is not functioning so um the sensor the problem with a lot of things within DSG transmissions is a lot of things are non-serviceable. I don't believe that there's any sensors that are serviceable in there. I think there's a, uh, a circuit that potentially can, a circuit foil that potentially could be bad. Those had some problems, but I think those were usually related to overheating faults and temperature faults. Could be related to this too. You'd have to look to see what specifically in a, di a diagram or whatever that sensor is if it is a serviceable one uh, and then go from there so that would be my advice in that situation most likely it's not serviceable it could be built within the mechatronics unit if that is the case then you probably would be best to start uh, with a mech unit even though that's an expensive thing to just throw at it